Good morning everyone, this is Catch and Cook, we are in a beautiful South Africa, a nice little secluded cove, we are about to launch and uh, try and get the catch for today, let's see what we can do. Okay guys, the plan of action is we're going to the North Blinder, apparently there's some snook and yellowtail at the North Blinder, we're going to have a look, if there is, we'll see if we can land a couple, if there isn't, we'll come back to the island and we'll start looking for some Proper hot and top. How are you doing today, Mr. Fugo? Oh, very well. Great day, nice viz, great seas, looks very clear. Um, so, I'm a marine science student in Cape Town and I've recently started diving, so um, I'm keen on learning a lot from, from these guys today. So, awesome. Yeah. Okay, everybody, yeah, we are approaching the North Blinder. Uh, absolutely beautiful day. Skipper Robert Morland is taking us right to the, the spot where all the fish is. Okay, you have the first guys going down for the first recce dive on a shallow uh, pinnacle here, about um, 10 15 meters. There's Kenny going down for a uh, after we spotted some uh, nice uh, activity uh, on the sonar. And a jaw jaw. Oh, that's a very nice size. There's a nice hearty. There's also. And there is an so. excellent size hearty. And wow, another one. And a nice hearty. For the bride. For now, Carlos Brad. There we go. Oh, he has shot a very nice hearty um, on his uh, about second dive. A very nice size that. Kenny just uh, completed his uh, breathe up and uh, he'll be going down shortly. Depth is about 18 meters. He'll be staying down for about uh, a minute and a half. I a snook. Whoa, it looks like he got a snook. Dion, show the snook. Oh, wonderful. Something uh, we very rarely managed to shoot. Snook is uh, very skittish and uh, well done, Stian. So I was down, I didn't see anything at first. And then I just saw a whole bunch of fish coming my way and I just took my shot. I was actually very lucky to get that one. Yeah, very stuck. This okay. is West Coast hot and top. So nice. Here we got old Stian. He came out today, can you believe it? This man was lucky, he got a nice snook. We will show you guys how this is prepared, how to cut it, etc, etc. Let's just, just zap this all away. And I think we're going to show you how it's done. I'm quickly going to do what they call to flip the snook. Cut it there and there. Saturday evening after a very nice dive today. I am at the house of friends of mine. Here's the one half of the snook that has already been cleaned. We're gonna have some bread with it and we're gonna have some jam with it and a Greek salad which I'll be fetching right now. Here we have the snook that's gonna be treated now with the butter and we're gonna bry that. This is Pete Smith and his wife Susan. Say hi to the people. Hi. Hi, there we go. Yeah, I've got uh, butter and lemon in the jug that has been melted. And what I'm doing is I am basting the fish on its flesh side. As you can see, then we quickly take the coals and bring them in. There we go. Now a lot of people like to fry a snook high and slow. But I enjoy buying the soup on warm coals. You do not close your grill. You keep it open and then you baste the other side as well. The reason for basting the skin side is so that the skin does not get stuck. 
to your grid. And oh, when it comes out of the water fresh like this on the same day when you eat the fish, it's just amazing. It tastes good. The color's nice. It's nice and golden. Now we turn it around. As you can see, your grid is loose from the fish. Take a nice tray, stick it in there, turn it around. Now we allow that tray to get nice and hot. A little tester. Oh, yum yum. Not too hot and you'll burn the table. As you can see, there we go. That's what the fish looks like. Susan, who like the fish? Heerlijk, heerlijk. Daar zit Susanne een beetje boter ook op. Heerlijk, het smelt zo lekker, want die vis is warm. I'll be joining the table now and have some of the fresh soup myself. We appreciate you watching this nice video. Till we meet again, cheers.